We all know that ice floats in water, which means its density is lower than that of water. Ice behaving like this is really quite unusual. If we take a candle and melt some of it, we'll see that a piece of solid paraffin does not float in its liquid medium, but sinks. The density of solid paraffin is greater than that of liquid one. Almost all substances behave in the same way, with a few exceptions. One of the most famous exceptions, which is important for us in this video, is water. Why is the density of ice lower than that of water? The thing is that when water molecules create a lattice, there are hollows in it, so it is rather loose. But still, the difference in density between ice and water is not too great. That is why 9 tenths of an iceberg floating in an ocean is hidden under water. If an iceberg is 30 meters above the level of water, its underwater part goes more than 100 meters into the depth of the ocean. The majority of liquids expand when heated. As for water, it behaves untypically in this case too. Let's put some ice into the water and measure the temperature of its upper and lower layers. If we wait a little, we'll see that the upper layer's temperature is around zero and the lower one's is around 4 degrees Celsius. The densest water got down to the bottom, so we can conclude that at 4 degrees water has the greatest density. Exact measurements give us this relation between water density and temperature. The behavior of water in the interval between 0 and 4 degrees is anomalous. When the temperature rises, water density increases instead of decreasing. If water did not possess anomalous properties, some natural phenomena would have an entirely different look. In winter, water would only freeze on the surface of pools, ice would sink down to the bottom and it wouldn't be too easy to melt it even in warm weather. But in reality, the crust of ice remains on the surface, covering the pool up from cold air. And one more thing. While the water in the lake is warmer than 4 degrees, the part of it which is cooled down on the surface moves downwards, ousting the warmer one upwards. So the water in the lake gets mixed. But when all the water cools down to 4 degrees, the mixing stops and the water continues cooling down slowly just as a result of its thermal conductivity, until spring comes.